from Mazatlan in the state of Sinaloa, I headed in a vaguely north direction towards a cool town that I'd heard about called Kosala. So that is me, carne asada. Hey. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she's got the meat cooking right next to these hot coals back there. And wow. Yeah, I'm excited about this, man. Some of the best kitchens in Mexico are like this, built on uh, concrete blocks with a real wood fire going. Sus frijoles son allá? Si. Okay. So she got the frijoles. Frijoles de puerco. Okay. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> Never mind. No importa. We're out of the fire. Here in uh, Kosala, and uh, wow, yeah, this is a good place to lose yourself. It's very tranquil, uh, very relaxing. Uh, the whole town is full of like brightly colored, painted buildings. So I'm out here walking around, getting lost. No idea where the hell I am. Absolutely a fantastic idea in Mexico. Probably not in Mexico City or uh, some other places. Ciudad Juarez, probably not a good idea to just walk around and get lost. But in these smaller towns like this, with a good vibe, it's absolutely essential. Interesting place, getting into some cobblestone road. I don't know where this road goes. Looks like there's a creek or something down there. This is just a main road in the middle of town. Full of cows, bulls, and a bull. A couple of bulls, a couple of cows. And there's another main road. <laughs> I love it. Hey. Some good eating over there. Salt. Kind of interesting. Basically a continuation of the Rocky Mountains as they go into Mexico. They call them the Sierra Madres. And over there you can see there's the cathedral some more mountains we're kind of all blocked in all around by mountains it's like right in the foothills but uh 
just an awesome, charming little town. Everything's painted up really colorful, all the buildings. Very cool. Finding my way back to Mazatlan, I met up with Lily for a journey to the town of El Rosario. Located in the southwest corner of the state, this town is famous for being built around a pond and contains a ruined cathedral from Spanish colonial times, as well as a Catholic altar that people from Mexico travel for miles to see. Ooh. I think it's a fruit or fruit? or seed, but I'm not sure. Frijoles. No. 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 <laughs> it's like a rock. The effect produced by seeing this altar is absolutely breathtaking. Back in Mazatlan, I headed towards the famous lighthouse where I would meet up with Lily and her son Luis Fernando for an exhausting climb to the top. Me gusta mucho explorando. Sí. Es mi vida. Sí. Bien hecho. Él está rápido. Muy rápido. Bien hecho. Bien hecho. Buen trabajo. For an extra 20 pesos, you can walk out to the end of the sky bridge that they built, which has a glass bottom floor. It definitely moves. Definitely. Mm. Sí, sí. After working up an appetite from climbing those 325 steps, we headed towards a famous seafood market in the center of the city. Okay. Sí, sí. Gracias. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Cuesta 100 pesos. 100 pesos? Sí. Okay. Una bolsa por favor. Sí. Grandemos. Sí. There's the tamarindos. Which they use to make a very sour drink, sour sweet, kind of like a sour head. 
Piloncillo, which is como azucar. Piloncillo, a poblano pepper that's been dried. And they take on a very deep, rich, complex uh, flavor and smell profile. Almost kind of like raisins and sweet and caramel. And uh, every chili is different. Chile mirasol. Mirasol, okay. Mm -hmm. Muy picante. It grows up to the sky. Grows up to the sky como chile de arbol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chile de arbol. Chile pasilla. Chile morita. Chile mulato, which I really want to try. Bird's eye chili, basically. Chili japonés is like Japanese chili, but it's uh, like a bird's eye chili. From so this is uh, episote. Cilantro. It's como cilantro, but mm -hmm. it's very different. It looks very different. And aromatic. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's very aromatic. Wow. It's got a very fresh, muy fresca. Perfecto. They use it everywhere in Mexico. Sí, in quesadillas. In quesadillas? In quesadillas, you could, you could find in the, uh, esquites. Mm -hmm. It means uh, corn grain. Okay. Yeah. Okay, take care of it. Gracias. Chile, chipotle. Chile, chipotle. Sí. And my favorite flower. <laughs> Episote. <laughs> Episote. <laughs> okay. That would be in the United States, probably forty dollars worth of shrimp. Cuarenta dólares. Cuarenta dólares. Aquí, what was what? You know, ciento uh, setenta. Like two hundred pesos. Total. Or less. Yeah. So less than. 10 bucks, like six bucks for like a kilo of shrimp, two and a half pounds, jumbo shrimp. The next morning, a truck with loudspeakers on top rolled through Lily's neighborhood with a load of sweet corn. Like an excited kid at Christmas time, she rushed outside with her purse and loaded up. The state of Sinaloa contains an abundance of interesting sights, sounds, and flavors. And if you're adventurous, it's a great place to get lost.